identify Pythagoras theorem through an activity with paper cutting and pasting method. So for that we need a right angle triangle with the side adjacent to right angle are A units and B units and the side opposite to right angle is C unit. Now taking each side we will draw three squares one is of side A unit, one is of side B unit and one is of side C unit. So the area of this square is A square square unit, area of this square is B square square unit and area of this square is C square square unit. <coughs> now we will make four replica of this right angle triangle. Now we will take another piece of paper and we will place the square first with side A square with side A unit. Next we will place all four triangles like this way. First this two and secondly this two. And at last we will place the square with side B unit. So this is the area of the entire piece of paper. Now we will remove the square of side A unit and side B unit and we will rearrange these four triangles in this way. And in the middle we will place the square with side C unit. So we can see the area is exactly equal to the previous one. Now here the area of four triangle is same as the previous one. So we can take this four as constant. So we can say area of this square with side C unit that is C square is equal to the area of the square with side A unit and area of the side yeah, sorry area of the square of side B unit. So we can say a square plus b square equal to c square. So here for this triangle a square is the square of one side, b square is the square of another side and c square is the square of the hypotenuse. Hence we can say the sum of the square of two sides containing the right angles of a triangle is equal to the square of the hypotenuse which verify the Pythagoras theorem.